Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for October 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. That is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, you know that I usually use my Radley Valentine decks. I will be using one this time. This is my Angel Tarot cards. It'll give us our main message. I'm going to pull one card from my Weight Rider tarot, traditional tarot deck. I'll also be pulling again my crystal energies from my Emily Anderson crystal deck. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. I'm an int I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself up for, to higher power. Whatever needs to come through, comes through. Um, also, too, remember a couple of things. Uh, if a card comes up reversed, it's a little extra energy. So, you know, just know that it has a little more meaning to it. Also, too, when I speak about higher power, that is your guardian angel, your spirit guide, your voice of the universe, whoever that is for you. Okay? That is for you. Now, I am going to use my Osha Zen Tarot cards just to give us a little bit of an overview. We are in Mercury retrograde. It will be retrograde until the 18th, I believe. And then the post-shadow will continue. I think it's until the 30th or the 31st of October. We And, you know, all of this, there's a lot, a lot of Libra energy going on. We want to watch the second because something's going on. You know that Venus is in Scorpio, but there's something where Venus and Scorpio and Pluto so there's some um, interesting energies there. Uh, Scorpio, very intense. Venus, you know, goddess of love, relationships. Pluto has a very extra energy there. So, you know, there could be some, um, I don't know, there could be something that just kind of um, secrets come out. Ex ex uh, you know, things explode. Things type of, you know, type of energy with the relationships. So just be a little bit, be leery be wary of the second and relationships okay so let's go on and we're just going to pull three cards and generally i use these cards as advice cards so you know when i do my long readings i'll say you know osha zen what advice can you give us so let's see what we have here we're going to adjust the camera just a touch there we go so we can actually see what we have here well, I never know if these are reversed. I can tell you that they're all the same way. So let's see what we have here. First card. Okay, that these are all reversed. Now, here we have 10. This is all about rebirth. This is all about new beginnings, new starts. But again, this is something that is, you know, it's a spiritual rebirth. A lot of this time right now has a lot of spiritual energy going on. So however, and you know, however you manage that, but you know, there is, you know, there's the, uh, the beast, there's the lion, the lion is a little bit on the, um, you know, on the wild side, but then there is, I don't know, is this pan, is this, you know, this, there's a being that's using its flute and remember music soothes the savage beast, but this is all about rebirth. Now the numbers and remember numbers have a lot of meaning to it also. So I tell you to basically copy down the numbers, especially for your sign, put them in your search browser, throw angel numbers behind. And some people like to look at the numbers in Gematria also, and then see what the message is. Sometimes the numbers can be reversed. So here we have a 10 transition, new beginnings, new start, um, moving on, moving on. But again, this rebirth has, you know, there's, there's the energies, the, the energies are quite big, the energies are quite colorful, and yet at the same time, the spirit is being brought to another. So is this a separation? Um, you know, I don't know, I feel a lot of calmness and peace from the, the piper, and yet at the same time, the, um, you know, the lion looks like he wants to start roaring. But then, he's coming, they're coming from, I don't know, these camels, and there is the gray. So something's happening. There is a lot of energy pulling us up. I do want us to be very careful, especially going into, um, well, as we move further and further towards that thinning of that veil between the light and the dark, because I, do, I know we had the fall equinox, and that's about balance between light and dark, but I do feel that we are 
again, you know, you are part of the light. We need to keep our thoughts, words very positive because the that other darkness type of energy wants to try to consume. All right, let's go on here. Okay, that again is reversed. Here we have morality. Morality, this kind of reminds me, if we were going to be using, if this was going to be the um, our weight rider, then this would be, to me, the hierophant. This would be the one that's kind of being very rigid and locked in, not wanting to, actually not wanting you to have the rebirth. So there, again, I kind of feel that there's going to be a conflict, and maybe more so on that second. At the second between... A lot of the people, you know, we're in a we're in major ascension types of energy. We keep moving forward and forward, and yet at the same time we feel the struggle. We feel the struggle. We feel like, you know, something wants to keep pulling us back. And that's where morality comes in. I you know, and I'm not saying yes, we want to do what is right, but this morality is very is very strict, it's very locked in, it's very rule oriented. It's more about the rules than doing what is right, okay? So let's see what this one, and this one then will be reversed, so we will flip it. We are the world. We are the world. So a lot of that has to do with the, you know, with the uh, Wheel of Fortune. We are in this together. We Again, we have a 10, so we have a 1, 0, 1, 0, or you can look at it as a 0, 1, 0, 1. Sometimes the, one, you know, the zeros drop off, and it's a 1, 1. But we are the world. We are in this together. I do feel like there's going to be a conflict between the people that, the people, the souls, the spirits that are, you know, that are being, that are going more into the ascensions that are, you know, you, I don't know if you've been hearing about like the third, fourth, fifth dimension type of energies here. And many of, many of you, because I can't, you know, you talk to me and tell me this. Many of you have been feeling these changes and these, um, you know, you've been feeling and seeing it within yourself. So again, there is, you know, again, against the people, those energies that are very locked into whatever the, and it doesn't have to be, we're not talking necessarily about government rules, we're talking about what they believe to be, you know, it's like my way or the highway. But again, there is the reminder, we are the world, we are in this together, however, this is also the wheel of fortune. Things have to move forward, things have to change. And we will be doing this all together. Mercury retrograde, as I've told you many times before, I do believe has a lot of karmic, I don't want to say balance, because when we're totally balanced, then everything's negated. Everything is, um, you know, it's like, why are we going, you know, why do anything? But it is karmic um, rewards, sometimes karmic punishments also. But I do feel like there is, the universe wants to give blessings. So it kind of depends on where we're at and what we want to, you know, how we want to receive. So let's get started with our readings. Hello, my Scorpios. How are you? Well, let's see what this weekend has. Remember, Venus is in Scorpio and then there's something going on with Pluto at the same time. So it could be an emotionally draining weekend for you. Um... But, it, but that doesn't mean that it can be a bad weekend. It just means you might be you might be putting a lot of your heart into something. Okay? So let's see what we have here for my Scorpios. One, two, and three. Three cards, two of which are reversed. First card is... Unity. Okay, that kind of goes back to, okay, five has change. Positive, negative, change. Archangel Sandalfin is the, supposed to be the Elijah prop, I mean the prophet Elijah from the Old Testament. That, so that's uh, Sandalfin. I don't know, my, oh my head all of a sudden is itchy back there. I don't know what's going on. But this is, this has a lot of traditional rules and regulations. Now, this either means that you need to have the rules and regulations, that you're expecting everyone else to follow the rules and regulations, or it could mean that you are breaking from the rules and regulations. And you know, my Scorpios. Okay, let's get real. You know, I have talked about, not lately, but I have talked about my Scorpios, that when you come into this world or into this life or into this realm, 
there are either the Scorpios that are very, very young, and I will say immature, or there are the Scorpios that are very, very old souls, okay? And I've, I've seen a mixture. It, it doesn't, you know, sometimes you cross back and forth a little bit, and it doesn't mean that the old souls doesn't have a, um, that cannot have fun or laugh, because no, you can't. Actually, your humor is really very dry, the ones that have the very old souls. They're you know, very, uh, not quite cynical, but on the drier side, you crack me up with that. But I do find that the younger souls tend to be more rigid in what needs what needs to be done or what needs or what they're expecting everyone else to do. The older souls want to break free from that. The older ones are kind of like, no, there's been too many rules. Okay, I know I'm going down a little bit, but this is what unity means to me. There's a lot of traditional rules and regulations that you can either be bound by or you may feel needs to be broken and changed. Okay, so my Scorpios, you probably have a lot, you know, when I when I read for my Scorpios, it's kind of like I have two sides. You're not Geminis. Geminis have their twins. You're not Libras, but sometimes you have this, this duality in you. Like I said, there's the ones that are the very old souls and the ones that are the very young souls. There's a mixture in between, but anyway, unity, that's change. Five is change, positive, negative. Um, again, there is something to do with tradition that you either need to, and sometimes, sometimes my Scorpios, you think that rules are for others and not for you. Those tend to be those younger souls. Okay? Okay, sorry my Scorpios, you know I love you. Anyway, traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organizations, seek out mentors and like-minded friends. Your next card here, reversed. The nine of water. Now, now we're getting into some good stuff here. The nine, nine is all about you've got everything you need. Let's wrap it up. Let's put a bow on it. Let's get it in the mail or let's open the darn old present. But it's like you do have all the pieces. Water energy is your energy. So there's something going on with this tradition. But the nine of water is the nine of cups. This is your energy, Pisces and Cancer. This is the wish card. So there's something, there's something, I don't know, that these two, these two can be complementing, complementing, complementary to each other, or they can be a little bit at odds with each other. But the wish card, and again, I think we're coming up to the new moon. I didn't really look before I started this. I saw, I'm sorry, but that would be like maybe Monday, Tuesday of next week. Anyway, and the new moon is when you do, you know, when you make, um, you know, you, you start, you start requesting things like that. But, so we have this, um, you know, again, breaking, maybe breaking away from the traditions, maybe going your own way. The wish card, though, is wishes granted. So put it out there. Put it out there to the universe. Put it out there to the source, whoever that is for you. Okay, your wish comes true. Concerns fade away. A love of life. So we have a 5 and a 9. Let's see what we have here. We have an 18. So 18, we have the 1, new beginnings, or 10, transition, 8, unlimited opportunities. 1 plus 8 is a 9 again. So we can have the 5918, an 8195, or a 599, or a 995. Nine, yeah, 995. But the moon, that is Archangel Heniel. And this is about, you know, again, there is a mystery going on. There are things behind the scenes going on. Not everything has been revealed to you. Now, again, to the unity, again, I like to think of this for you more as stepping away from what you, you know, it could also be, you remember the thing when I say, when you always do what you always did, you'll always get what you always got. So this could be you doing something a little bit different, not necessarily what is expected of you okay, or from you. So, you know, there, there's something that's moving with you on this weekend. This is the only thing that I see could, that could be the anchor. And an anchor can be something that stabilizes you, or it could be something that holds you back also. Okay, so the moon, important psychic insights. So listen to your gut, listen to your intuition. Events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. So again, this eight, this nine one eight. The only thing is, I feel like is this an anchor that's holding you back or stabilizing you? 
let me know. Okay, my, my Scorpios, what is that, that unity? Here we go. And let's see what we have. I don't generally use these decks together, but they just said like, yeah, you have to do this today. Okay. So let's see what we have here. One more, one more uh, shuffle. And they're so easy to shuffle too. Here we go. And we have a four. Now, four has stability to it. Four has leadership. Four has um, organization to it. Now, the, and this also, this is the emperor. The emperor has a lot of the masculine higher power type of energy. The emperor is the ruler. The emperor is the one that sets these, sets some of the rules. So, but at the same time, these are not necessarily as stringent. But the, the emperor does like to have that organization, does like to create a stable environment. Now, if you notice, I have a yes or a Y here. So some of my cards, I'll have a Y for yes, I'll have an N for no, and I'll have a Y slash N for maybe. That's the maybe. So whenever asking yes or no questions, this if this would come up, this would be a yes answer to you. But there's something about the emperor that needs to have, I do feel like this could be the weekend that you need to have some self-discipline it doesn't necessarily mean with this, because the, the, I get just rule energy here. I feel like this is having more self-discipline, but it also could be asking that masculine side of the universe to help you through some, some time, some things that are, might be going on around you. But remember, you have the nine of water, the wish card, you have the moon, things are hidden from you. Not necessarily everything has been revealed. Um, but then you have the emperor, and the emperor definitely has a lot of strength, a lot of uh, fortitude, a lot of leadership. I feel like with the emperor that that has a lot of the masculine um, higher power energy also. So it could be that you need to be reaching out more, but it could also be that maybe you also need to have a little self-discipline during this weekend also, okay? So you've got, I mean, this this card, eh, this is, you know, this card, I never really quite liked this card. But with this, um, I, I don't necessarily, with these three cards, I don't, I just feel like this, it's kind of like this versus this. Does that make sense? Anyway, let's see what we have here. Are, you know, are you, are you, are you going to be really rigid or are you going to look at your possibilities? Again, I do feel, again, that it comes down to the, um, the more mature souls. If we, go with, if we go with reincarnation, in which there's a, lot of, um, there's a lot of anecdotal evidence that there is. Or, you know, then, there, again, my Scorpios, I see so many. I've met so many of you that are, you know, like, no, this is my burden. This is what I have to do. And then I've met the, uh, the younger souls that are like, you're, you're willing to fight your way out of a paper bag. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Here we go. What crystal or energy for my Scorpios? This is reversed. Smoky quartz. That helps to dispel negative energy, home protection, earth connection, achieving career success. So is this all about your career too? Could be. Could be. And remember, any of those relationships, relationships... Could be about your career, could be personal, romantic even. It could be about your home. Okay, my Scorpios. It's always a mix for you, never easy. Okay, my Scorpios. Remember to like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. I appreciate you doing that so much. Let me know what this is about, who this reached, who this was, who this, who is resonating with this. Most importantly, though, my Scorpios. No matter what this world throws at us, no matter what, always know that you are loved, stay shining, and be blessed. Bye-bye.